And the dragons in because they are fun. I got the hand pen. And stuff. I don't really have anything else for Ned, though. But, like, maybe I just... Mm. I'm Ned Stark. Okay, this is... Uh, Tori Survives Game of Thrones. This is actually... Um, <laughs> episode 21. It's chapter 20... Edward 4. It's kind of a blind reading slash comedic abridgment of the Song of Ice and Fire book series. And we're currently on the first book, which is Game of Thrones. And uh, first off, I'm going to start with um, my corrections and omissions. Uh, there was an omission in the God of All Irony on John's chapter, I forgot to mention that John turned 15 while his uncle Benjamin was away, and nobody mentioned it. Not even me. So, I'm sorry, John. Don't be too emo. All right. <laughs> now, this, this chapter is kind of funny just how rough Ned's having it. Because it just keeps getting worse. I feel so bad for Ned. Uh, we're we're going to... I'm going to pull some of the exposition up front. Just for the sake of the timeline. But um, where we were at... You know, Joffrey runs up on, on Arya. Fighting with Micah with the, the swords and stuff. He acts like a little turd. He gets attacked by the wolf. Arya busts his head open. There's the whole, um, you know, like, court and stuff. Cersei's, like, going full Karen. Like, don't you talk to me or my children ever again, you know. And she demands that a wolf gets killed. <clears throat> and she doesn't care which one because she just hates the wolves in general. So poor Ned has to execute Lady, you know, um... Sansa's wolf because they can't find Nymerius and stuff. Robert's just like, I hate everybody. Walks away from the situation. So it goes down and it's really rough. And it just keeps being rough. Like Sansa's crying herself to sleep every time Ned looks at her. He gets filled with rage because of what just happened. You know, um... Arya, now, you know, that the the Hound had killed Micah and stuff, she's just totally dark and brooding, not talking to anybody because they killed her friend, basically, because Joffrey was a little turd, and, like, nothing's going right. Uh, King Bobby, you, you barely see him because he's spending all his time in the wheelhouse staying drunk now probably because he feels crappy too and it's just bad like it's long and it's hard and it's bad ned's just over it right so he finally gets to the gates of the red keep in king's landing and he's thinking like you know because he's he's tired he's sore he's hungry and stuff he's like i'm just gonna have a long bath i'm gonna sleep in a actual bed <clears throat> and uh i'm gonna take some time off and boom wrong ned you so wrong <laughs> like a steward runs up to him and he's like there's been an emergency convening of the council you've been sent for uh you know at your earliest convenience and Ned's like, my earliest convenience is tomorrow. And the, the the steward bows like super low. And he's like, I'll tell him your regrets. And Ned's like, I can't piss these people off before I even meet them. So he like jumps down because he's up front. Like his household's coming in wagons. as And it's not even there yet. And uh, he's like, hold on. And he turns, and luckily, uh, wh who is Van Poole, you know, is standing back there like his dude. And he's like, hey, take the girls, find their bed chambers. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Take the girls, find their bed chambers, 
go tell Jory to guard the girls. Don't let uh, Arya go exploring. Um, I got I got to handle this. And he turns to the steward and he's like, look, half my household still on the road. Um, can I have a minute to just put myself together and I need to borrow some clothes? Because he's still in his riding clothes and everything. And he's Bleh. And the steward's like, yeah, all right, you can, you can. And then it's Ned. He's walking in this council meeting. There's like four other people there. And uh, it's Renly, who they don't say what Renly is the master of. I'm assuming it's like a master at arms or he's, you know, commander of the guard. Something like that to do with like the military or the laws or whatever. And then there's uh, Varys, you know, Lord Varys with his spies and all that. There's Littlefinger is in there. And then there's... They have a, a grand maester, not just a maester, a Picel. And that consists of the entire small council, basically. But as soon as he walks in, the Lord Varys is on him. And he looks like leaving powder stains touching him because he's like super perfumed. He's super powdered and stuff. Ned does not like Lord Varys at all, which makes a lot of sense with what we know about Ned. He doesn't like indirect people. He doesn't like liars and stuff. And Varys is the spider, you know? And uh, Varys, in a very calculated move, I think, doesn't mention Bran at all. He actually kind of goes out of his way to mention Joffrey instead because there's other ears around. And I think that's kind of slick because he's like, he's like, I was so sorry to hear about um you know all the problems on the road um we've been going to the sept and lighting candles for joffrey you know <clears throat> and uh ned's like yeah the gods heard your prayers uh he gets stronger by the day and kind of like yanks off him and stuff which seems kind of rude but you got to remember he has been in hell getting here he hasn't even like he didn't they didn't even wait till he got off his horse before they pulled him into work. Right. And he's wearing like clothes that aren't even his. And then. You know. Uh, he sees Renly. And he stops for a second. Because Renly looks exactly like Bobby did when they're younger. You know. And he's grown more and more into it. To the point where it's almost creepy to to Ned. You know. Because he's like man, I'm sorry. Every time I see you, I just, I think of Bobby, you know, and Renly being gracious, he's like, oh, I'm just a bad copy. And, you know, he was talking to Littlefinger and Littlefinger standing next to him. And he's like, he is better dressed though. <laughs> and, uh, he tries to mess with Renly a little bit. He's like, he spends more on his clothes than most women, you know, and <laughs> Renly is like, there's worse crimes. I mean, Case in point, I could dress like you. And, you know, he's just giving it back. Because I guess that's who Renly is. Like, he just... he's He knows himself. He screws with people. That's how he shows love. Or whatever. <clears throat> you know, so they're... They're standing there. Um, Littlefinger... Uh, kind of oversteps. You know? And that's going to be a thing this chapter. Because Littlefinger just tries Ned, right? And he's like, he's like a too friendly smile, you know? Like, Ned's like, you don't know me like that. <clears throat> and he's like, I've been waiting to meet you, you know? I've heard so much about you. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, Baelish or whatever, you know? Like, Peter Baelish is his name. But everybody calls him Little, Littlefinger. And he's like, he's like, I'm Lord Baelish. Uh, maybe Caitlyn's mentioned me, right? Because he's still, like, I don't know. He's, like, friend's own champion of the world, right? So, <laughs> he's sitting there. And uh, Ned's like, yeah, she has. But he says it like that, you know? And then he's like, yeah, Brandon used to mention you, too. You know, because he's not taking crap from Littlefinger. 
And he's like, oh, I bet he did. And he's like, yeah, with some heat. And <clears throat> Littlefinger is like, yeah, I, I still have a, a mark of his affections, you know. Um, hopefully not too much heat. See, what what we say about Southerners or, you know, in the South about you Northerners is that you're made of ice. If you go below the neck, you'll melt. And he's like, ah, I'm not melting anytime soon because he's just done dealing with Littlefinger, basically. And he just turns to the Grand Maester, Pycelle, and he's like, so what's the business? You know, and Renly actually says, <clears throat> he's like, well, the reason I beat you here is because uh, King Bobby, you know, sent a special order and stuff because he's like, well, should we wait? for the king and uh Balisar to get here and they all laugh they're like yeah good luck and basically tell them like the king hates counting coin and most of this drudgery so he just sends commands every now and then but he don't really come around like they gotta run the, the kingdom themselves for the most part and <clears throat> the grand maester you know, he opens, well, he hands him this, the the proclamation or whatever. Ned pops the seal, he's reading it. And he's like, gods be good. You know, like, he's just not having it. And, and, and uh, Renly already knows, basically. And he's like, what he means to say is that the king wants a tournament in his honor. You know, for being uh, the hand. And he's like, you know, sure surely the treasury can't withstand this you know because immediately um you know little fingers like okay what's the damage because he's a master of coin and they're reading it off and they're like okay like uh the winner of the tournament is gonna get forty thousand um gold dragons um second place is gonna get 20 the melee is gonna get 20 and whoever wins archery is going to get 10. And they're like 90,000, you know, dragons. And then, you know, uh, Varys is even like, well, plus the, the cooks, the foals, you know, the maids, all of that. <laughs> so it's basically going to be about 100,000 dragons. And they're like, man, can the treasury withstand that? And so, and they laugh. <laughs> they're like, we haven't had a treasury in years. You know, it's like, don't worry, the Lannisters will lend it to us. Like, we're already in a Tywin for, like, three million. It'll be fine. He's not going to care about another hundred thousand. And uh, Ned's like, the throne is three million in debt? <laughs> and they're like, no, the throne is six million in debt. We've been borrowing from the Lannisters. We've been borrowing from the Tyrells. We've been borrowing from the Iron Bank over in freaking bravos and stuff and meanwhile ned's like noticing like all the tapestries from all like the free cities and stuff from all these marble and garnet you know like guardian statues and stuff everywhere and he's like he's like how did we get in debt you know like looking a little finger and stuff and he's like Look, man, I just find the coin, okay? The king in the hand, spend it. And he's like, I refuse to believe that John Aaron just let everybody bugger the realm, you know? And everybody kind of went back and they're like, well, you know, it wasn't John Aaron's fault. Like, the, the king kind of just spends, you know? Like, he likes tournaments, he likes feasts. He doesn't like listening to people and what he calls counting coins, you know? So I guess, like, he's just been making demands and he doesn't care, you know, like how much it costs. So Ned's like, yeah, I'll talk to him about that. And uh, Renly even, he's like, yeah, you talk to him. We're going to do this <laughs> in, the, in the meantime because it's he, he's not going to listen. <laughs> and Ned is kind of... He's kind of like, just, oh, uh, you know? So he's like, <clears throat> all right, I'm leaving. And everybody kind of looks at him like, what's your, 
what's your problem you know and so and ned's not used to like just being under the king like you know what i mean like he doesn't they're all supposed to be equal on the small council and he's like okay uh, i'll switch hacks i'm sorry it's been a long ride you know i just i need to get refreshed um let's reconvene tomorrow and instead of like you know waiting for anyone to accept it or whatever he just gets up and he walks out right and then on top of that <laughs> um as soon as he walks out like his household still coming in the gates it's just pandemonium everywhere like people trying to organize and get stuff and whatever because they told him like he's taken over uh the hand of the king's chamber that was john aaron's and stuff up in a tower so he's just trying to walk towards the tower that he thinks is where where his bed is basically and little finger you know is like hey you're going the wrong way and ned's like huh but he starts following him he's like come with me i'll switch out so he starts walking and then they're going like in these increasingly ignored places you know like through these like little little hallways and whatnot and stuff until like they're over by like these ancient um armors that are like covered in dust that are actually targaryen they're like black they have the dragon scales on the heads and stuff and he's like this is not the way to the hand of the king's chambers and um little finger ever trying ned is like yeah i'm taking you down to the dungeon so i can slit your wrist and bury you and you know it's a whole murder plot basically like dripping with sarcasm <laughs> and and ned's like then where the hell are you taking me you know and he's like well i'm taking you to see your wife you know and he's like my wife is like ten thousand leagues away in in winterfell and he's like oh well someone's doing one hell of an impersonation of your wife then and he's like she's safely away like how she how'd she even beat me here and he's like fine don't come i'll keep her for myself you know because <laughs> he's full on just messing with ned and ned is like just increasingly getting annoyed with Littlefinger because you know of uh, the day he has but he finds like there's this door there's this old door he like opens the drawbridge on it or whatever they call the the securing you know thing. like he pulls off the the securing and, the, and he's like come on the, like they go through the door and he's like we're outside the castle and again little finger just tries him he's like he's like you're really smart was it the sky <laughs> that you know like it hinted you and he's like come on we gotta go down this cliff there there's little niches in a wall but they're really shallow so you gotta be careful don't fall for you to your death now because that's gonna be pretty hard for me to explain to catlin right and uh he he looks and sure enough there is and quick as a monkey is what they say little fingers just like bloop, 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 all the way down and ned's like oh no <laughs> you know because he's he's already rough he's tired he's hungry uh he hasn't had a second to pause but he's just pressing his face like up against the 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 cliff and he's like going down just you know what i mean and uh he makes it down by the time he gets all the way to the bottom uh little finger is sitting there eating an apple almost to the core and on top of that uh he's he's like you're getting old and slow ned <laughs> like you know through the apple in the river and ned's just like this you know what i mean <laughs> and like so he's like it's okay we're riding the rest of the way and there's two horses down there you know that he already prepared so him and ned get on the horses and they're like we gotta go and they ride into town and when they get to town there's this like 
kind of ramshackle three story tall building and ned's like ned's like you brought me to a brothel because there's like the red lantern you know hanging from an ornate chain and stuff and he's like yeah your wife is in there and ned that's like apparently if you try ned 10 times like the 10th time you're dead <laughs> right because ned just slams him up against the wall and he's like brandon was too kind to you pulls his dagger out and he's about to stab little finger to death and then there's like this dude and he's like no you know <laughs> like like running and and like he could see like like his soft parts like jiggling as he's running up and he's like no and he's like mind your business <laughs> you know because he's like he just called my wife a hoe like and and he notices that it's actually Roderick you know but it takes him a second because he's wearing different clothes and he's shaved and everything and he's like what the hell are you doing here and he's like little fingers telling you the truth he's not messing with you don't kill him you know because roderick knows ned like really well so i guess whatever was in ned's eyes like little finger almost ended right he almost like they almost cut off little finger like like a yakuza promise <laughs> you know he's just like not today man i'm done <clears throat> you know because he still hasn't eaten he hasn't <laughs> like nothing right so he's like okay we gotta we gotta go in here uh, try not to look super conspicuous or well try to look a lot more lecherous and a lot less like the hand of the king so you don't get rescued and stuff like he's being a little body he's like I mean grab a titty or two if you gotta but just blend in you know and Ned blocks in and nobody cares right it's a house full of just titties out <laughs> and stuff nobody's trying to look at some random dude's face which fair right so they go and they go all the way like up the stairs and into a back room and sure enough cats standing right there just catlin is in there <clears throat> and he's like oh my gosh my wife you know and he like hugs her and he's like why are you here you know and she's sitting there and uh she's like you know are the girls okay like you know uh peter's been giving me reports and stuff i heard about the problems you know up at the moat and he's like no the girls are not okay they're a mourning they're just full of hate right now they're they're bad <laughs> you know and then he's like oh my god is bran okay and she's like well it's about bran but not the way you think and that's when he notices her hands and he's like why are your hands so cut like these are deep cuts these gotta be from a weapon like what the hell and and she pulls out the dagger and she's like this was meant for bran and he's like what the hell and she's like just let me tell you the story and i'll get you up to speed <laughs> you know and he's like okay and she goes through everything like all the way from you know the like the fire getting set to you know her meeting Varys and Littlefinger and like him hiding her away and whatnot and then like like uh you know Littlefinger is basically sitting there and he's like he's like well I, I didn't want the Lannisters to find her and and all that which i think he might have said before she fills him all the way in and stuff and he's like he's like i so that's why we're in a brothel because that's the last place you would expect to find catelyn tully you know and which i noticed he threw some shade because he called her tully like not stark so I, he's still way in the back like just simping over here like what was it uh i'm gonna grab my uh ukulele for this one but uh what's that i'm i'm still not over you or whatever like like he's over there you know i can't let you go can't let you go you know which is funny because catlin on like on the on the flip side or whatever like she's over there uh what was that marshmallow song you know <laughs> 
She's like, F for Brian D is. <laughs> you know, don't go look at me. With that look in your eyes. Because <laughs> she's not having it. She's like, no, you're my brother. <laughs> you know? And uh, basically, sorry for that. I was going to do cuts, but it's been a long day. So um, we're, we're up in our game. I'm trying to keep this one shorter and it's running a little long because there was a lot going on. Anyway, <clears throat> so, you know, he's like, you know, I was keeping her safe, da, da, da. Ned's like, Ned's like, what the hell? Because he does not want to be tied with Littlefinger. And she's like, she's like, well, you know, because... I, like he's like well we we got to figure this out like we we have proof and little fingers like you don't really have proof man like as soon as you ask bring any charges or whatever with that dagger the imp's gonna say he lost it or someone stole it you know and if you if you blame the king or whatever because see ned gets in his head for a minute about bobby and he's kind of flashing through, like, when they killed the Targaryen baby. You know, like, how Bobby just walked away. And how he just walked away about the whole Sansa thing. <clears throat> and, uh, and you know, just how he's been cold and how he has certain predilections and stuff. And he's not so sure about Bobby anymore. But Littlefinger's like, I doubt Bobby knows. He's mastered the art of not seeing what he doesn't want to see anymore. You know, so... I guess Bobby's just been not dealing with seriously and stuff kind of kind of like we already saw you know and um they're talking you know like he's like there's no way the imp acted alone because he has no reason to kill bran or whatever uh we all know my personal theory i don't think the imp was involved but <laughs> who knows and seriously you know was is basically like well you know it's treason to accuse bobby and it's going to be a uphill battle accusing Cersei and stuff. So we need to, we need to find more evidence and that kind of thing. And, you know, Ned, I'm paraphrasing here, but Ned's kind of like we, and <laughs> Catelyn is like, well, you know, uh, I kind of informed him about the stuff with John Aaron too. And Ned's like, fuck, you, you know, cause his day is just so bad right now. And, and he's like, in his head, he's like, well, you know, I've had to come and cause with people I didn't like before. So I guess that's it. And we do need the help. And this little guy is tricky. So maybe, <laughs> maybe it'll help. And they're talking about, um, you know, like they kind of got to, got to play the game, you know, like just, uh, he's got to be like a good little hand and look for evidence and stuff. And they mentioned Varys. Because apparently Lord Varys scares the crap out of Catelyn. She's like, he knows things he shouldn't know, you know. And they're like, yeah, he's he's got his spies, and he's like, no, she knows he knows things beyond that. Like, he knew like actual words from a conversation he couldn't have been close to. Like, I think he has dark powers. Like, I think he's magic, Ned. <laughs> you know. And Ned's like, Ur. and then Littlefinger's like, don't worry about him. You know, like, he is tricky, but I got him by the balls, you know? And then, and then he's like, well, not that he's, he's a man and has balls anymore, but I, I got him sewn up. Don't worry about it, because I'm the master of coin. Uh, you know, if you open the pie, all the birds start singing, and then he's over. So I'd worry a lot more about the Lannisters, and Ned's just like, yeah. You know, like, he completely agrees they're like overly ambitious and stuff and he flashes through like all of the deaths that have been surrounded by the Lannisters right now like you know like Micah and and you know the wolf and just everybody like all the way back to Eris you know like the Mad King and Jamie having you know sliced him up and and them taking the the King's Landing by treachery so he's he's basically just like yeah I don't trust none of them <laughs> so that's kind of the the going thing and he's like hey can i have a minute with my wife and like little fingers still being whatever you know 
It's like, yeah, uh, if you guys want a bed chamber, like, I should warn you, we charge for that. <laughs> and so just, I think he was intentionally trying to kill the mood, you know, if that makes sense. Like, he's just being a little petty, whatever, at this point. I, I think he's like, nice guy, world champion, you know what I mean? He's like, no, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's, there's a short exchange before that. And, uh... You know, his brother Brandon comes up and stuff. And he's he's like, he's like, oh, you're nothing like Brandon, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. But Brandon's been dead for like 14 years and I'm still alive, okay? So part of my job is keeping you alive, even though I think you Starks are worthless. I'll do whatever Kat says, you know? And Kat actually, like, after that little exchange, she's like, okay, look, little finger... Um, you've been very much like the brother, uh, I forgot I had. So I want to thank you, you know, and Ned's like, all right, uh, just for the record, for everything you've done, uh, you have my thanks too. And, and he leaves trying Ned again. Cause he's like, oh, well that's a treasure. And like walks out the door. So, oh, he's lucky he survived, but when when it's just Ned and Cat, you know, then he's like, "Okay, look, I need you to go tell um what is it? Galbert Glover and Hellman Tallhart. Hellman Tallhart. I need you to tell them to uh build up a bunch of archers and go to Mont Kalen and fortify it because like 200 determined archers can hold the neck against the whole army okay and then i need you to tell lord manderley down in white harbor to rebuild all of his defenses because i'm guessing like white harbor is you know like the ship like yard for the north <laughs> i'm guessing just because that's where catlin and roderick you know ran to to get the boat but yeah and and she's like, oh, you, you're you not thinking war. And he's like, war won't happen. And he doesn't know if he's lying or not. He's hoping he's not lying. He's like, war won't happen. But if we figure out that the queen killed uh, John Aaron or, you know, anything about her order and Bran's death, um, justice flows from the king, meaning I got to tell Robert. <laughs> and... And he doesn't, like, finish it in words and stuff, but it says, like, in Ned's mind. He's like, and hopefully Robert's still the man I knew, and he's not the man I'm scared he's become, you know? Because um, it, it could very well be war, you know, at that point. So uh, he immediately, he's just like, boom, 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 you know? And uh, I think... That's the end of, uh, yeah, that's, that's the end of the chapter. That's where we fade out. So that's chapter 20 at our four. Um, I'm Tori Torrential. This is Tori Survives Game of Thrones. Sporting my handy present as the hand of the king. What not? Uh, the costumes will get better as interest rises i guess i don't know we have no budget so <laughs> it's it is what it is if i can find something in a garbage can <laughs> we got it anyway um and that's you are hopefully mildly amused and uh i love you like and subscribe